Hey folks, it's Warpow back. I've done a couple of updates to the riggers. Uh, like, not internal hardware, but more so some of the external hardware. Like, it does speakers, they're gone. Come using this. The sound bar. It's Bluetooth sound bar, but it's like really powerful and sounds great, especially when playing games. You can tell them run a defrag, but yeah, that's a twenty-two inch, ten p Technica TV. Uh. Chose the Technica TV because it's bigger than one. It was bigger than what we're using. Two. It's full 1080p. Native resolution, so at 60 hertz. Yes, I know there'll be ones that they're turning, but you can get better, better, better refresh rates for the for PC, but. We'll talk about that's how that's how thick it is. At the most which isn't ain't bad. That's because it's got UD flare and all that. The only downside about it is I have to get some Dante press power button to turn it on. Well it's easy enough done. And with the HDMI coming at the graphics card and going into the back of the T V which I've had is Zip tie the graphics, the HDMI cable, because the one I got along with the graphics card is like 20 meter. So, of excess, I've had to zip tie. With leaving myself enough length to go from the computer to the excess, then back up to the screen. But yeah, I've got uh, all the games run on 1080p. There's like with every certain run apart from HDR because I don't know if I don't think the card's capable of HDR or the screen. I'm not 100% sure on that one. But you can see the card's still run. Right now, the only fun that you're actually hearing is the CPU. And even though that, it's not a stock CPU fan. Got a squeaky chair. But, why did I choose to use this, this panel over what I was using? With the AOC. Well, this AOC. I'll explain more in a minute. 30, 931 SN LCD monitor. Why am I not using it? I'll tell you why. Now, I know it's not my partner or her family that's done it. She explained to me her ex wanted to do firmware on that monitor, on this very monitor. And it has, so it was getting resolutions at, at the monitor that I shouldn't have even been getting. And it was making games struggle to run on it when I went, jumped over from number graphics to to NVIDIA number graphics to the GTX 650 because it meant games will try to run it run up to 1440 
when it's not a 1440 res, res monitor. They'll try to run at a high refresh rate when it's on a 60 hz monitor. So they get, so the guys put an, a gaming firmware on that monitor and basically it works, but it doesn't work. Okay, if you can't get into the games to change the graphic settings, means the games aren't gonna run. But yeah, I can turn them on, on put the games on that, and they run no problem. So that's the difference. Uh, I'd rather take the twenty-two inch Technica for that reason, because <coughs> at least I know it's got to run and it's got to run at the native resolution. Because there's no firmware or anything done been done to it uh, right now because uh, oh, it's taking audio through the graphics and then to the TV instead it comes through the speakers. I've got a speaker cable going from the TV to the speaker, which is given excellent quality sound over the, the TV's built-in speakers, which were even back in the day when running that was like crappy, to be honest. To be honest with you. So, yeah, that's it. And most of all, anyone looking for a cheap power supply, I uh, highly recommend that power supply because you're still getting over 800 watt. Uh, even on the 12 volt rule for the graphics card, you're still getting like high amperage and enough wattage. Like it's still over 800 odd watt to actually be able to take over with high end graphics cards, only downside is with when looking at graphics cards with that, that particular power supply, unless you're using extensions, you're stuck with a 6, 8 config on the power. I know there's cards out there, there's some newer cards that they don't take new uh, power connector but I'd still suggest like highly suggest making sure your graphics card has standalone power connectors so you can put in the plug them in straight into your graphics card as uh, graphics card straight into power on the uh, PSU because then you're actually sitting there making sure that everything's gonna be done alright. One of the problem as Kyle from Bitwit would put it is is Catch up and muscled cables. They are partially sleeved, but yeah, those catch up and muscled cables. I think for them to rate this rig. It's a bit shocking, to be fair, though, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, you'll probably give it a 0 out of 10. A minus 10 out of 10. <laughs> I know I'm ripping into it, but it's. It's doing well for the age. But, yep. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. All free to do. Catch you in the next one. You can see. Steam. Using. GPU's head. Until we ramp something on quickly. <coughs> it spikes. You know, and see if you have temperature and memory. Start with a fine mode.
a bit more of a look for the heavier load than following the biggest end at least. Anyway, so Mind this bit here, it's about to get the panel for run. That's just what I always want to see. <laughs> and still, the fan speed's that low, it sounds like the fan is off. But 50 degrees fan speed. Is it 24%? CPU and the memory has gone up. Yep, that's at any, any rate. Thanks for watching, rate, comment, subscribe, all free to do. Catch you guys in the next